Are you confused about downloading photos from websites like Shutterfly or Google? Hi, I'm Jair and let me help manage your photo downloads. Many people don't realize that when photos are downloaded from a website, a download will result in a zipped folder. Zipped folders have to be extracted to view and use your downloaded photos. Here we are using Shutterfly as an example. You'll want to be sure to be in the All Photos view. This allows you to systematically download your photos in batches by year and ensures you download all your photos. Sometimes photos uploaded to Shutterfly are never put in an album. So be sure to work with individual photos. Not the albums in Shutterfly. OK, to easily select the photos. Click on the checkbox beside the month name to select all photos within that month. If you like, you can view the selected items at the top bar by clicking on View Selected. If you are ready to download your batch, Go to this icon cloud with the down arrow and click it. You will see a prompt telling you that an email will be sent once downloading is done. It will also show on the lower side of the screen, and you can download it right away. Once you have downloaded the photos either from the Shutterfly website message, or your email, you can view them in the downloads folder. The downloaded photos will be in a zipped folder unless you only downloaded one photo. If you have thousands of photos to download, the process can be frustratingly slow. Shutterfly allows a maximum of 500 photos per download and you will be downloading multiple folders one at a time. One word of warning, you can see the mess here. You have multiple folders and zipped folders named Archive 1, so it's best to work on one folder at a time. To help your downloads folder organized. Starting with one zip folder, we need to extract the photos. We can do that by right-clicking on it, on it, and then extract all. Once the extracted folder is complete, delete the source zip folder. Next, we want to rename this folder, so we know what is in it. You can check the photo information in the unzipped folder. Go inside the folder. Click on the View tab then select Details. Right-click on the little rows and check the date taken as we can see here. Now we have the information and can rename the folder correctly by year and month. Don't forget to add the download source for reference. Before moving on to the next batch of downloads. Optional, you can delete the photos from the online source primarily for privacy concerns, and to avoid confusion years down the road. When you come back to Shutterfly and wonder, do I have these photos already? I hope this helped you manage your downloaded photos. And get the memories saved to your computer. Subscribe for more informative videos.